The Java Development Kit can be installed on Windows 10 relatively easily. First, you'll need to download the appropriate file. When you go to download the Java Development Kit, you may be confused by the different download options. For most applications, you only need to install the Java Runtime Environment, and this is definitely the most common download. But the Java Runtime Environment will only allow you to run Java applications. It's not necessarily going to contain all the files needed to develop applications. You need the Java Development Kit when you want to actually write programs such as writing web applications using Eclipse on perhaps a Tomcat 8 or other web server. So if you're going to use Eclipse and do development work with Tomcat, WebSphere, or other products, you want to make sure you're downloading the development kit, sometimes known as the JDK. To download, find the version of the development kit that you want, and for Windows 10, you want to download the Windows X64 version. Click on the version to download, and in some cases, you may find that there's more than one version available. So like in this case, we have 865 and 866 today, but that'll change as new versions come out. Also, you don't want the demos and sample downloads. You want the actual development kit itself. So click on the download and wait for the download to proceed. On most internet connections, this is gonna take a couple minutes. It's a pretty good size file. I already downloaded the file earlier, so we can go directly to the downloads directory. So I can delete that temporary one that I didn't download all the way, and here's the version that I went ahead and downloaded earlier. To install, you'll need to run as administrator. You can see the little administrator icon laid over top of the application icon. You can right click and say run as administrator. We get a UAC pop-up box. We need to accept that to allow the installation to proceed. And then the setup wizard will start. Again, the version of Java that you download on a particular day may be different than version 866 that we're using here. Hit next and go ahead and install the defaults. Wait for the installation process to install the files. The default installation location, which is C program files, Java folder, and then the name of the version is generally good for most instances. And again, since this is intended to be used for Eclipse in my case, that's a good path. So this will go ahead and install the Java development kit, which happens to include the Java runtime environment and it also includes the Java web runtime environment that's used in web development for the Java w.exe. So you'll get a JRE with the JDK, but if you download just the JRE, you will not get the other components of the JDK. Once it's successfully installed, you can see your files under C program files, Java, and then the name of the installation. So in this case, JDK 1866. And inside you'll find the different files, including the JRE and other files needed to run the project. So at this point, one thing you might want to do is set your environment variable, because this can be useful for Eclipse and other tools. So I've copied the installation directory. And then you can click the Windows icon. And then you can edit system environment variables here. Click on environment variables. And then you can create a new variable 
Java underscore home and give that value the path to the installation you just installed. You can see that I already did that earlier and Java home environment variable appears here. Once you have the Java home environment variable, you can then add the JRE to your path by editing the path variable. And you can refer back to the Java home variable that you just created by putting the percent signs around it and then give the path slash JRE slash bin to make the bin directory of your JRE part of the default path that Windows will use to search for programs. And this makes it a lot easier when you install tools like Eclipse to find the JRE that you installed with your Java development kit.